or more everywhere is on complete standstill in a do state today obedience have taken over a do state they've shut down everywhere as a presidential candidate of the labor party in 2023 presidential election mr pitobi is currently in a do state today for the official flag of campaign of the labor party gubernatorial candidate in the do state gubernatorial election olumudi apata there have been a lot of noise about obedient supporting the PDP gubernatorial candidates, but yet the obedient in Edo State, they've come out in mass and they've shown that they are for Peter Robi, they are for the Labour Party, and they are for Olumudi Abata. Watch the video. As a Labour Party gubernatorial candidate for the for the Edo State gubernatorial election, there have been a lot of talks about equity and justice in Edo State. According to them, they say it's time for the Edo Central to produce the governor that the Labour Party gubernatorial candidate is not from the Edo Central, and hence he should not vie for the office of the governorship election in Edo State. And I'm beginning to wonder where will Nigerians wake up? Like, where will they be serious about their life and about the politics they play? Since when did they start, you know, care about um, equity and justice? Since when did Nigerians start getting concerned about zoning? Now, a lot of persons are saying that in those states gave Peter Obi large um, amount of vote. They supported Peter Obi wholeheartedly because he's from the East, because of equity and justice. And I find this very dubious. I find this very, very mischievous and uh, misleading. In those states supported Mr. Peter Obi not because he's from the East because he is competent. P2B was supported across other parts of the country because he's competent. P2B is the only candidate, the presidential candidate that went about telling people, don't vote for me because I'm from the East. Don't vote for me because it is my turn. It is not my turn, it is a turn of Nigerians. Vote for me because you think I am competent. Vote for me because you think I can deliver. Aside all the other presidential candidates, you have Atiku Abubakar who went to the North and told them that they should vote for him because he's a Northern candidate. Tinibu said, Emi Loko, it is my turn. But Peter B was the only one from the beginning that stated it clear. Don't vote for me because I'm from the East. 
people love Peter Robi because of who he is, because of his track record, because he's competent, not because he's from the East. And again, like I said, I find it very mischievous that Edo people, especially the PDP boys, they are bringing the, the talk of equity. These same boys did not support Peter Robi. They supported Atiku Abubakar. If they care about equity and justice, why didn't they support Peter Robi? Why did they support Atiku Abubakar? During the presidential election, most of them attacked Peter Robi, said all manner of things against Peter Robi, tried to demarket him. Why didn't they support him? Because he's from the East. They supported Atiku Abubakar. Again, they've even went as far as sending some people to go on national television to tell P2B not to support Olumide Abata because he is not in the zoning arrangement. I mean, these people do not know how to play politics. If you have done the right thing, the people will vote for you. You don't even need to, you don't even need the presence of Mr. P2B to win that election. A those people will vote who is competent and they know who is competent. Now, why are they crying because Peter Rubi is supporting his own candidate in Labour Party? Why are they crying? In the 2023 election, Obaseke supported um, uh, Atiku. Why didn't Obaseke support Peter Robi? To the point that he even denied Peter Robi use of stadium when Peter Robi went to campaign in Edo State. I mean, are they, are they even forgetting all this thing? I mean, I was even shocked to see Anthony Ehelobo, whatever his name is, the, 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 the son of um, Tony Anini, coming to tell Peter Robi not to support Olimida, but that he should support the uh, PDP gubernatorial candidate because of Zoni. This same guy! said all manner of derogatory things against Peter Obi because he is supporting Atiku Abubakar. Peter Obi has stated it clearly that he is still in Labour Party and he's going to build Labour Party. He cannot build Labour Party by not supporting the gubernatorial candidate of a state. We need to have structures. Labour Party need to have solid structures on ground that will defend the vote of Mr. Peter Obi when next election comes. The last election saw P2B vote being stolen in all over the country. If P2B had a Labour Party governor in River State, there is no how Wiki would have stolen his vote and, and, and give it to Tinibu. This is politics we are talking about. And moreover, I'm not from a Doe state, so I'm not going to speak for the people of a Doe state. A Doe people, they have the sole responsibility to choose their governor. If they feel that Olumide Abata is the best man for the job, they will, they will vote for him. If they feel that the PDP candidate is the best man for the job, they will vote for him. It is not about zoning. It is not about where you come from. Nigerians should take that away from their mind. Zoning has not helped us. It has not helped this country. Of course, President Buhari came from the north, but eight years as president of this country, the north suffered the most under his administration. Insecurity, poverty, out of school children. Otherwise, they don't, the north don't even have access to potable drinking water. In the 21st century, they are still suffering from waterborne diseases. And you're talking about zoning, you're talking about where the person came from. Tinibu is from the southwest. The southwest, they are the ones that are growing in. The hardship they are experiencing under President Bola Tinibu. It is not about where you are from, it is about the competence of that person. Again, P2B is all about destroying the structure of criminality, destroying God for that reason in Nigeria because this is what is dragging this country back. Somebody will leave, a, will leave office and will install a stoge there that will protect his interests. Like you saw what happened in, in Kogi State, even in River State. Look at the, the, the past governor of River State, how he's fighting the incumbent governor of River State because he put him there. We don't need that. He, PDP winning the election in a do state is an extension of Obaseke tenure in a do state. It's, it's, it's a pure fact. We should not promote that. We should not promote that. We should promote competence. And Olumide is competent. He's competent, a successful career person. He has built reputation for himself as a career person. And I think Edo people, they need his expertise. However, I said that I am not speaking for them. A do people, they know who is right, they know who is competent, they know what they want, and they will vote for who they want. If Obaseke has done well, if Obaseke has transformed the life of a do people, if Obaseke has affected the life of the people, if Obaseke has given them good governance and unadulterated leadership, leadership that is people centric, leadership that affected every corner in a do state, he doesn't he, he doesn't need to be scared that P2B is coming in a do state to campaign for the Labour Party candidate. PDP will win. That is a truth. They will win the election because the people will always go to where their interest is most fulfilled. That is a truth. They will vote, and I trust those state people. Those state don't vote based on a person. They don't vote based on the party. They don't vote based on sentiment. They vote based on who can deliver. They vote based on who is competent. They vote based on who they can trust. And that is why they stood behind Mr. P2B. They supported P2B wholeheartedly. 
So all these ones on social media that are making noise about P2B not standing for equity and justice, they should go and look for something else to campaign. They should be campaigning with Obaseke legacy. They should be campaigning with PDP legacy in those states why Obaseke was a governor. That is what they should be campaigning, not because um, P2B is coming to campaign in those states. And those people will not vote for uh, Olimide because of that. They will vote for Olimide because he is competent. Trying to drive the narrative that P2B is not standing for equity Why are you doing this? 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 Why are you